Shalom, Morot of our Talmud Torah. I would like to um, present to you uh, some ideas about uh, Sukkot. We will have only one session, um, so I will be very brief. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the, the first mitzvah, uh, which is the, the Sukkah, actually uh, building and, and spending time in the Sukkah. Uh, it's a mitzvah to have our first two dinners in the Sukkah. Uh, and then every time that we have a meal with bread, we also should have it in the sukkah. All right, that's number one. Um, the, the the original pasuk that uh, speaks about sukkot is in Vaikra, Perek Kaf Gimel, pasuk Mem Gimel, Leman Yedeur Otechem. So for generations you will know Kiva Sukkot Hoshabti et Bene Israel that I. Uh, made the, the Jewish people, the Bnei Israel, to dwell in the Sukkot. Otam Eretz Mitzrayim, Ani Adonai Elohim. When I took them, took them out of Egypt, I am Hashem, your God. So the question is, what was the nature of this uh, Sukkot that Bore Olam Oshabti, Bore Olam, made them dwell in the Sukkot? What does it mean? So there are two explanations. One is uh, Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva says that the intention is to say that, you know, actually they build the huts, like real Sukkot, like, like what we build right now, um, and that Bnei Israel dwell, were dwelling in this Sukkot for four years, and Borei Olam was with them. He protected them uh, somehow while they were uh, in the uh, Sukkot. The second interpretation uh, is the interpretation of Rabbi Ishmael, that he says that the, um, uh, the protection of Hashem, Hoshabti et Bnei Israel, the intervention of Hashem was through uh, something that is more than the, the physical hat, um, which is um, seven clouds of glory, anane uh, kavod, as Rabbi Ishmael says. So what are these seven clouds of glory? So here I think that we can use modern terminology to explain them, uh, Hashem's protection. Uh, so let me try. So first of all, the word um, Anan, Anane, Kavod, which means seven clouds. Every child knows already that clouds in English, in modern English, in the English of the uh, uh, 2000, um, it doesn't mean just the cloud that makes rain. Uh, there are clouds where we store uh, pictures and information. Um, so there are digital clouds, and everybody knows about these clouds. So in a similar way, you can explain the children that this is the, the sense of also the clouds that an Ekavod that Hashem was using uh, to embrace and protect Bene Israel. Chachamim said that there were seven clouds. You can also explain them with the word, with the word firewalls that uh, in, in, in computer science is like what protects you from uh, viruses and, and other things uh, and external uh, <laughs> um, uh, enemies of, of your, of your uh, programs. Uh, so um, Bore Olam had four firewalls, four clouds protecting the Jewish people to the right, to the left, ahead and, and behind from every enemy in the desert, because there are uh, wild people in the desert. Um, and we also had a protection above us, because in the desert it's not just the enemies. In the desert you, there, is a, uh, there are a lot of problems with the weather. At, at night it's very, very uh, cold, and during the day obviously it's very hot. So you need a permanent protection uh, from uh, all the damages that the weather can cause. Um, and, and, and also uh, things like uh, uh, sandstorms that uh, uh, could could really be uh, lethal for uh, for for so many people. Uh, so Bore Olam protected us from the weather, and there was also a cloud below them, an invisible cloud uh, below them to um, to protect them from. Uh, scorpions and vipers and uh, um, and uh, ven uh, uh, poisonous snakes, 
so that that is a very good way to explain to them that we were surrounded by a like an invisible dome that was um, um, embracing and protecting the people of Israel from all corners. So there was a hermetic protection of Borei Olam, which in a, in a sense it means the ultimate protection of Hashem that we enjoy when we left uh, Egypt for these um, uh, 40 years. Uh, then there was a seventh cloud, which was going ahead the... Um, uh, the the people uh, guiding them uh, where to go. That the best example you can use is a GPS. So Borei Olam provided us not only with uh, a, a complete uh, protection uh, against everything that you could could find in the desert, animals and enemies and and, and uh, terrible weather, uh, terrible weather, but also he gave us a GPS to guide us to the promised land. So I think this is a very um, a nice and cool way at the same time for for our children to understand uh, not just the concept of the of the uh, huts of the real huts as Rabbi Akiva said, but also the concept of Ananekabod and the permanent protection of Borei Olam that uh, started at at that moment, but uh, when we went out of Egypt, but it still with us until today. Uh, we, we, Medinat Israel, the state of Israel, has this uh, miraculous, um, invisible uh, protection of Borei Olam, which we mention a lot of times, like for example, Ufros Alenu, Mirach, Sukkat Rachamim Beshalom, and please extend for us this Sukkah of Shalom, this protection that will bring bring peace and will spare us from every problem. So we ask Hashem always to give us this sukkah, and in Sukkot we really build it, and we um, uh, use the Sukkot, uh, and we submerge ourselves um, and surrender ourselves in the hands of Oreo Lam, uh, representing this um, uh, this protection that, that he had, has, and will always have for Bene Israel since the time of Sukkot until today. This is the first uh, part. Uh, I'm going to speak a little bit now in the next video about Arba'at Aminim.